today I'm going to do a company report of Aston Martin. Our group consists of four members, which are Ella, Xuan, Wenying, and me. Firstly, I'm going to do a rough introduction of Aston Martin. Aston Martin Lagonda Global Holdings PLC is a British independent manufacturer of luxury sports cars and grand tours. It was founded in 1913 by Lionel Martin and Robert Benbo. Benford. Aston Martin has announced plans to turn itself into a global luxury brand and is increasingly branching out into projects in, including speedboats, bicycles, clothing and real asset development, even submarines and aircraft, mostly on a licensing basis. The Aston Martin Laguna product development team comprises 960 designers and engineers covering almost all aspects of new car planning, design and development. Aston Martin Lagonda sells its cars through a global dealer network, compromising 160 dealers as of 30 June 2018, which allows it to benefit from geographical diversification of revenues and access to high growth markets. Next, I'm going to analyze firm level situation based on five aspects. Firstly, I'm going to introduce two major resources, which are intangible resources and human resources. The Art of Living collaboration support our core business by reaching a wider audience through carefully positioned products and experiences, which increases brand awareness and drives brand value for the long term. And the health and well-being of employees is an important aspect of operating effective and successful business. They also depend on health and stability of the communities where we operate. We, uh, they recognize that we, uh, they have both responsibility and the opportunity to make a positive contribution. For, um, for the market position, Aston Martin focuses on the right audience, not the largest audience, with, lo with the luxury brand products and services. Okay, for the capabilities, Aston Martin has very strong marketing and uh, branding. It has high brand equity and a strong legacy and also rich historical heritage and value and a strong engineering and a design team. For the corporate strategy, Aston Martin has executed a strategy to stabilize business. They have implanted a learner operating structure and a continue to invest in breakthrough products. Together, this strategy combining financial disciplines and brand development, which is demonstrating that Aston Martin is on the right track to deliver sustainable growth and uh, pro profitability. To ensure continued market development and sales growth, the company is the process of strengthening its, its dealer partner network. Its global dealer partners have continued to, over the next two years, to enhance the customer sales and service and experience. I'm going to give you one example: is that this is a, cons a consolidation of dealers in Tokyo with leading luxury. Um, retailer Sky Group appointed at the new Seoul dealer in Tokyo. The new dealership is a prime location in the center of the luxury car district in Ayuma and is due to open in 2017. For the business model, Aston Martin made a significant progress toward the delivery of, the, uh, of its second century strategic plan. The second century plan compromised three key phases which are stabilization, um, core strengthening, and a portfolio expansion. Um, by the end of 2016, the stabilization phase of the second century plan had largely been delivered. This phase focused on the six key areas, which are profitability, organization, product, quality, sales, and marketing. As the market is known as a luxury brand, this is due to it being highly customizable. This means that customers can personify their car, which is very appealing to customers as they want heads to town when they're driving down the road, especially when they're spending so much on the car. Also, the location of where they place their shops is a good marketing strategy, as they usually place their shops in the richer, more upper class areas, meaning when the richer people are driving past, they may come in for a browse and then potentially spend money on an Aston Martin or upgrade in their car. Um, also, the brand quality is worldwide known as uh, superb. It's luxurious and innovative. They've got a strong engineering and designing team. On top of that, they provide ultimate luxury and comfort, and they have innovative technology features. 
And then Brand Awareness, Aston Martin is known all over the world as a luxury brand. That is due to its strong marketing all over the world, as well as a rich historical heritage. It's always been known as a luxury brand ever since it first came about. It's known as high quality, and its logo is well known everywhere. Uh, their target market profiling is usually a male, middle-aged, uh, usually qu quite high income because their, their starting, uh, starting cars are about 120k. And then they usually have an interest in cars as well. Um, they also usually have a family, which means they normally have two to three cars because Aston Martins only normally have two seats, meaning when they take out their children, they normally take them in maybe bigger cars and they normally only take the Aston Martin out maybe two to three times a week because it's just a sports car and maybe just flash it about a bit. Uh, they also have a potential market, which is uh, they're aiming now to start looking at a younger age group. Maybe they'll potentially start bringing down the price. This is due to them marketing on social media. Uh, and then we rank their international involvement. This is what they ranked high on, direct exporting, overseas marketing, as mentioned earlier, they are a worldwide known brand, contract manufacturing, e-commerce, and importing product components. This is due to them getting their engines from Germany. However, when we come, uh, However, when we compared them to other luxurious brands, their main competitors, one of them being Bentley, they had a much higher international involvement. This is due to their parent company being Volkswagen. While Bentley is an English brand, Volkswagen is based in Germany, therefore they're adopting Volkswagen's manufacturing and marketing ideas. And as well as this, Lamborghini is also a main competitor, and Lamborghini is an Italian brand. However, their parent brand is also Audi, which is also owned by Volkswagen, a Germany brand again, meaning their marketing and manufacturing is adopting Volkswagen's ways and Volkswagen's consumers as well as Lamborghini and Bentley are known for the high quality of Volkswagen. Alright, this is Strange speaking, and in this part, I will show you the SWOT analysis for Aston Martin. It will be explained the slow internal and external environment aspects separately. So, Firstly, uh, let's see the internal environment of Aston Martin, the strengths. Uh, the Aston Martin is a well-known and a distinctive uh, luxury British band defined by su superior design. Also, it has a perfect customer base. Just like uh, any other luxury company, Aston Martin has a strong fan following people who use them, know their value and their performance, and always stick to it. Moreover, Aston Martin has expanded themselves over 50 countries on a global level. They are also delving into other types of automobiles like speedboats, bicycles, even submarines. This helps them in being more available in all areas. However, in terms of the weakness, uh, Aston Martin has very few models available at a time which limits a customer's choice. This is un understandable as anything they want to do, they want it to be the best for their loyal customer base. Number two, they have smaller market than other companies. Compared to similar companies like uh, Ferrari, Aston Martin has a smaller market this is because they concentrate on their luxury market and has never tried to enter another market. They may need to do it soon if they don't want many contenders. What is more, as Martin Lagonda's low value strategy may limit the potential profit. About the external environment, there are both opportunities and threats. For instance, increasing the availability of repairing it's quite daunting for an international customer of Aston Martin to find service quickly. They often have to wait for months to get their cars fixed. This is uh, so fair that the company must work on. The daily used automobiles. Aston Martin make, makes luxury products which cannot be used regularly, but you can use their technological knowledge into making products that will help people in getting better cars. This will also help them in fighting it off with many mass market automobiles 
and produces a round reward. And in terms of the threats, the increase in fuel costs, right, the price of uh, petroleum products are raising. That's a big problem. And the Aston Martin should look into cars that will be elect electrically powered. And Aston Martin face credit and the market risk are raising from foreign currency exchange rate market and the commodity price, interest rate, and from relative hedging activities. Also, changed in tariffs or physical uh, policies could uh, adversely affect demand for Aston Martin Lagonda's products. Hello everyone, I'm Lily. Uh, in this section, I will talk about global readiness indicators and the selection of entry mode, uh, conclusion and uh, recommendations. Currently, Aston Martin has business in foreign markets including Europe, China, Americas, Asia Pacific, Middle East, uh, and India, which is a promising global business strategy. Whereas, due to existing issues in this form and the current circumstances, it's suggested to make improvements in overseas marketing strategy. The advices are as following. Uh, firstly, they can fund a uh, foreign sales branch uh, and uh, marketing subsidy uh, in order to develop more clients and maintain uh, regular clients. Secondly, they could uh, uh, establish company-owned retail stores uh, to show their classical and the latest models of cars, as well as, well as providing consulting and uh, after-sales service. Uh, regarding as a uh, selection of the entry mode uh, suggested by our group, uh, uh, the international market development is not mature enough. Um, they do regular, uh, relatively sustainable achievement in domestic market, uh, Europe, uh, as well as USA. Uh, well, they have huge potential uh, in emerging market, uh, such like uh, China, India. Since we can see their sales growth, uh, sales growth is obvious in those uh, regions. Therefore, Aston Martin uh, should continue to do product strategy and uh, business strategy uh, in those uh, developing countries. Um, simultaneously, try to uh, enter other emerging markets like uh, Latin America. Overall, it's recommended to emphasize on development of marketing in developing countries and maintain its uh, previous performance in developed countries. As for uh, conclusion and uh, recommendations, uh, firstly, Aston Martin's unique design and uh, its special historical and royal outlook uh, is a core attraction in the luxury cars uh, markets. Uh, secondly, uh, the trend uh, towards cars with low engine capacity, uh, new drive technology, and uh, electric cars could uh, negatively affect Aston Martin. Uh, in this case, uh, they can try to replace a uh, better uh, engine supplier and uh, cooperate with other car companies uh, to develop new drive technology uh, and uh, electric cars uh, in order to broaden customer range and uh, global markets. Uh, certainly, Aston Martin's product uh, is dependent on consumers' sentiment and uh, purchasing power and uh, its dealers in order to diversify customers and develop other sales channels, Aston Martin should develop other prices of cars and establish overseas branch in other countries. Firstly, firstly except the local UK market, they also involve in Europe, North America, China, Middle Eastern and India markets. Among them, USA among, accounts for the biggest proportion of overall sales volume. Uh, in addition, there is a dramatic growth uh, in Chinese markets. Uh, hence, it is suggested to de uh, develop a global business in more emerging markets um, by advertisements and uh, social media marketing. Lastly, Aston Martin's financing arrangements could uh, limit, limit 
the group's flexibility to operate uh, the, its business. In this case, Aston Martin should find more reliable types of financial support uh, to avoid uh, risks. Uh, that's all. Thanks for listening.